underwater dolphin kick is extremely important for competitive swimming. After each turn or start, you're allowed to do 15 meters of this really fast technique in freestyle, breaststroke or backstroke. This means that in a short course race, you can swim most of it underwater. Today, we will talk about three really important aspects of this sometimes called the fifth stroke. Streamline. The first thing to master for a correct underwater kick is the streamline. Underwater butterfly kick is all about moving efficiently through the water. A tight streamline will help you move faster. Lock your hands high above your head. Your elbows should be straight and tight. Your head should be between your biceps or a little bit in front. There should be no space between your shoulders and your neck. Your core should be tight. Your legs should be touching each other and your feet should be in plantar flexion as much as possible. You will keep this position for about two seconds or less after each push of the wall or after the dive. A good streamline will carry that very important initial speed off the wall. Hips. Before you start to slow down in the streamline, you need to start kicking. I say that it is helpful to think of butterfly as if you were just moving your hips up and down. Even though you are using most of the muscles in your core, which extend to your chest and upper back. The hips are where all the power originates, but the legs are what keep the velocity of the body through the water. Feet. Even though all of the muscles in your legs are working, it is useful to think about your feet and the sensation of the water in that part of the body. You will know when you're doing an effective underwater kick by the feeling of the feet. This is the place of a lot of nerve endings, so use them. Your feet should always be pointing in plantar flexion. The more ankle flexibility you have, the better. Finally, one thing that not a lot of swimmers know is that during the underwater kick, it is equally important to kick strongly in the back kick as it is in the front kick. This means that you are making an effort while the feet are going up and while the feet are going down. You are kicking at all times and moving fluidly through the water. Remember, tight streamline, move hips up and down, and feel the water with your feet. Practice at least one kick after every turn, and once you dominate that, move on to two, and so on. If you want to buy one of our swim caps, click here. Thanks for watching, swim fast!